Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Former Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on 5th of April 2024, looking at all the 14 new mods that has been dropped today for consoles, so yeah. As always, Tommy's hats will be down below, so if there's a particular mod you want to look at, they'll be down below. But regardless, let's start with our placeable items. So, kicking off, we've got the Road Barris Pack. This is by Young Sinek, 1.56 MB to download. And this is a pack of one half meter and two meter length for barriers with different color options. These cost a hundred dollars, euros, pounds to place. Slot count is three slots. And yeah, they can be found under decorations and others. And at the end, yeah, you've got a rib barrier here. One and a half meter, one and a half meter, two meters and two meters. And yeah. Overall, nice little detail. I do like the, the weathering effect on these. But yeah, so that is the Road Barrier Pack by Young Sinek. Next, we've got the H Shed. This is by Adob Modding. It is four slots for a console, and essentially, this is a bell and pad storage. And the good thing is, you can actually drive through so you can place equipment in here as you wish. So yeah, obviously it accepts bales, but also it accepts pallets and big bags and that, so... Yeah, let's go and just sort of demonstrate. So you've got your dollar box here and that, so... That's where your input is. And if you want to take stuff out, just go bang there and it'll pop out of here. So when you select it to come out, it actually spawns on the other side, so... Maybe one thing to note when you're placing this down, but anyway, so... Let's go and put our bells in. So you've got 42 size bells. There we go. So yeah, overall, not too bad. So yeah, you'll find this under build mode, under buildings and silos. And yeah, towards the end, yeah, 600 capacity, four slots goes down to one. No color options or anything like that. But yeah, so be note, even though the box says the output is on this side of your where you put it in, it's actually on the other side, so one thing to note with that. And yeah, the upkeep is two dollars. And yeah, so that is the hay shed by Adob Modding. Next, we've got the workshop horse pack. This is by Eddie and Mui. 56.48 megabytes to download. Slot counts is 48 slots for the workshops on their own, or for the workshops with the fuel depot, it is 53 slots. So yeah, let's look at the first one here. It comes in two different styles. It comes in a sort of a modern sanitized version. If you want something a bit more, I guess a bit more, uh, what would be the like East German style in that, in a way? Sort of reminiscent of the old East German buildings. But yeah, got a variety of door options. And these are all drive throughable. Light switches can be found all over the place, so if you're like me and that with mods and that, you get lost looking for the light switches. Yeah, it's hard to lose track of them. So yeah, you'll find these under build mode, under tools, and yeah, towards the end. So yeah, 48 slots goes down to three. Oh no, sorry, fuel depot. Yeah, 53 slots goes down to three. And 48 slots go down to two for the non fuel option. And yeah, so the fuel depot option is really, it's just this bit over here on the side. Holds 15,000 liters of diesel. So yeah, just come here, fill up your equipment. Decent trigger air as well for your workshop and that. So yeah, pretty much even like an X9 combine that could just about fit. But yeah, so we're more designed for like your medium sized equipment personally. Yeah, it says large equipment is suitable, but things like the massive X lines and that, even the big bus we'll be looking at later on, maybe a bit of a challenge in that. But, anyways, that is the Workshop Horse Pack by Eddie and Mui. Next, on to our equipment, we've got the Hand Spreader by Andy Modding. It is three slots for console and. Yeah, it comes in a pack of two, so you got a lime add for a spreader, and then you also got a salt spreader. So, 
These can be found under Tools, and Salt Spreader is under Winter Equipment. So yeah, three slots goes down to one. Make her options changes the handles and the chassis. And design color changes the sort of like tub and the little hopper area. So yeah, it is works to be at six miles an hour, 2.4 meter spread, 60 meter capacity, goes at six miles an hour, weighs 60 kilograms. Apparently it is five horsepower, so I'm guessing that's how much a human can produce. And yeah, the Furlough spreader is under her furlough spreaders towards the end. Yep, yeah, same exact details, same color configuration. So, yeah, main color is the handles and chassis, and the design color is the hopper and that. So, yeah, it says six miles an hour in that. So yeah, so I also want to double check that. So, yeah, six miles an hour, right? Yep, yeah, that is not the case. It is 3 miles an hour at most, and when it's loaded up, it is a disappointment, so... Yeah, like, overall, like, animation is okay. But if you got this loaded up, down to 1, 3, down to 1... Sort of, in a way, sort of, guessing sort of simulates you're struggling with this. But yeah, so, salt spreader, obviously we haven't got snow. But yeah, let's demonstrate this with the fertile spreader on our field here. So yeah, there we go. We are fertilized. So yeah, cruise control, you don't you have an option for cruise control. It is a bit iffy, and yeah, with cruise control, yeah, it goes at three miles an hour just fine. But yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm just holding it down. And yeah. Because now we're like less than half a capacity in that, it does sort of have like this judgery effect. But yeah, besides from that, not really much to say. Always do appreciate hand tools and that, hand mods and that, so yeah, a bit of a disappointment when it comes to the physics and that when it's fully loaded. But besides from that, actually not too bad. Shame you don't see the hopper going down gradually, it's just like bam, yes and no. So yeah, that is the hand spreader by Andy Modding. Next. Well, we've got the RC Max 2, this is by Pepe978, three slots for console, and yeah, this comes in a little configuration of two, so, got a mulcher, that says crimpled, or crimper, not crimpled, roller, and then it says it's a cultivator toothed roller, however, with this, I'm getting the, uh, what's it, getting the rolling effect, but not the cultivating effect, so we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, you can find this under two options because there's like two mods in one, even though it really only needs to be one. So yeah, under Mulchers, yep, down to the end, RC Max 2. So yeah, got the cultivator roller and mulching roller. We'll set up standard and wise for Treadborg, BKT, standard wise. And back to Triborg. However, go to Cultivators. It says this is a Cultivator, but nothing's popping up there. That's because it is under Roller. So, there we go. Same configurations and that. Yeah, so, really, this could have just been under one tab since it is exactly the same. And yeah, and I purchased these separately, so the motors from the motor section. But yeah, so this one actually works now, as intended, or at least I'm not mistaken. So yeah, nine and a half grand, 20 kilometers an hour, working speed, and required horsepower is 80. So yeah, go and lure this. Lovely animation, of course, it's by Pepe978, so their mods are actually awesome, and I do appreciate their mods. Especially the level of detail in that. So yeah, we're mulching in that. Decent in that. But yeah, so let's go and grab the... Colty roller in that, or cultivating roller, so... Actually, let's take this to a... Because yeah, if it's a cultivator, let's take this to our wheat field. So yeah, like, actually, let's lower it, so... 
Alright, so what? Hear it rolling. I love the animations of that. But it's not cultivating the fields. Oh yeah, just to clarify. Let's go to our PDA. So yeah, cultivator. So yeah, it's not cultivated at all. Oh yeah, let's go to our crop, so... Is it working now? No, it ain't, so yeah. This is not a cultivator, it's only a roller. Oh yeah, even though this ain't planted, you can still see the rolling effect. So yeah, let's go and load this. And you can sort of see that rolling effect. So yeah, that's rolling, so... It's a roller, not a cultivator. But regardless, 6 meter working width, decent working speeds and that, so... And yeah, for 9.5 grand, it's really suitable for... Like, small, small farms and that, like... I tend to do with, like, Vinci's Survival and that. Absolutely nice, it's just a bit of a clarification on the description. But regardless, that is the RC Max by Pepe978. 5.51 megabytes of download. Not sure if I mentioned that. Next, we've got the Asa Laser Pack. This is by John GM. 13.67 megabytes of download. And this is a 4.94 meter cultivator or a cedar. I don't see an option for it to attach on the back, so these are separate, but we'll give a little test. So, yeah, cultivator and a cedar. So yeah, the cultivator can be found under cultivators, head towards the end, as a laser, not really much customizable configurations, trail board got like different standard tires, so you've got a bit of an extra rimage, and the cedar is under cedars, and it is a direct drill, but this is only for really like the grass fields, so yeah, so you can do grass, Aussie Radish or Canola, so you can use this if you're just doing Canola, that ain't gonna be a problem. But yeah, so let's hop into our new Honda here. So yeah, it says it requires 220 horsepower, 25 grand for the cultivator. There it is. Can't fold it, so if you're on like UK maps, this is perhaps not the best mod for you. Yeah, we are cultivating. Actually, let's go over a full crop and that. There we go. You can see that cultivating effect more. Not too bad, not too shabby. Love the animation in that. And yeah, just double check. You can hook these together. No, you cannot. Didn't know what I was thinking. That. It just sort of looked like it has an option. But anyway, so let's hop into the cedar. 850 litre capacity. And yeah, let's go and to lower this. So let's canola. So yeah, this prop has bugged out, so... Yeah, I think this was like red beats and that, so that's bugged out, so... I'll have to reset that. But anyway, so... Pop to an actual field. And there we go, you can see... There's a direct drill, so... And actually, consumption rate is pretty high. Yeah, that is yeah pretty high in that compared to other cedars I'm used to using. But say now, do you use some unrealistic equipment? So that is not much of a merit. But yeah, love the animation, level of detail overall, actually quite nice. So let's go and drop this. Yeah, actually, I do love it. Like proper nice detailing. So yeah, that is the Asa Laser Pack by John GM. Next. On to our traders, and first of all we've got the Lizard VR11, this is by Karuga Modding, so this is basically the Lizard version of their Camaro branded mods. So yeah, slot count is 5 slots, goes down to 1. It's a small trader, cost 9.5 grand, based around Spanish 1980s trader. So yeah, we can find this under Tools and Traders. Go towards the end. And yes, one of these, there we go. So yeah, 
Nine and a half grand initially. Weighs 3.4 tons. Accepts pretty much everything in that. So yeah, capacity starts at 7,500 litres. Well, the extensions goes up to 13,500. No extra cost, which I always appreciate. Wheel options, we've got Continental, Standard, Standard 2, Trailer Board Standard, and back to Continentals. No colour options, of course, since it's a, a Camaro branded, but just a laser version, so what you see is what you get. But yeah, let's hop into our drone deer. Get us hooked up. So you've got tip side back, ring door. Let's go and unfold. Love the hydraulic sounds. Decent animation in that. Of course, as you spent by Karuga Modding, yeah, they do a lot of these kind of trailers and in FS. And even if it's just bringing the these brands and that and make it a lizard version. Honestly, things like that I don't mind. But yeah, this does have removable sides. So yeah, what we looked at with the uh, 7,500 year option. So yeah, just looking at customization options and that. There we go. So yeah, right stick, R1. So yeah, R1 and right stick does that. L1 add left stick, drops these down to the side. So actually, you can like load up these with like bells and that even bells, pallets of like straw, like seeds and fertilizers and that. There is no like tension straps, but what you can do is just let's say you got a couple of bags of seeds and that. Whack them on here. Now rather than having need for tension straps, just go bang, bang, bang. And yeah, things like that I do appreciate. Like, it's sort of a different way of transporting goods on a trailer that could be quote unquote configured as a transport trailer for bags and that. So yeah, overall not too bad. Definitely a top trailer and that of the day. Oh uh, well, top trailer as you can get. So this is the Lizard VR11 by Karuga Modern Design. Next. We've got three new cargo branded trailers by Sid Modding. But yeah, the first one we're looking at is the Cargo D120. It is 70.24 megabytes download. Nine slots for console goes down to one. Costs 15 grand and configurations are a 7.6 thousand year capacity or a 50.2 thousand year capacity. And yeah, this can be found under trailers. Once again, towards the end. So yeah, the DP120, yeah, D120PL can hold pretty much everything as well. So yeah, configurations, so yeah, 7,600 year capacity. With the 50,000 year option, you do have an option for a balcony and a cover. No cover configurations at all. But that's because it's a cargo brand, so when you get like these kind of branded trailers, do expect things like that. Warren triangles, yes and no. Get that with small option. Wheels, new brand, just got standard or wide tires. License plate option. Let's hop into a new Honda here. Get us hooked up. There we go, get us hooked up. It is a swivel axle trailer, so not my personal favourite, but love the hooking up in that. Love the level of detail in this mod. So yeah, cover, L1 and F on D-pad, open and close. Got tip side back, tip side left, tip side right, green door, and back to tip side back. Let's go and unload this. Love the door action now, like how it hinges and flexes and that. Decent animations and that. So yeah, that is the Cargo D120 PL by Sid Modding. Next, moving on to the Cargo J50, this is also by Sid Modding. 15.71 megabytes download. Slot counts is 7 and 11 respectively. And yeah, got different configurations and options. So yeah, once again, under trailers, go towards the end. 
Ah, yeah, so you've got the J50, got a 4,200 litre capacity option, and a 8,500 litre capacity option. Also, you've got loading left, loading right. So that'll be for things like big bags and that, bells and that, or even if you want to, very small equipment. Warren triangles, yes and no. See, so yeah, I've got two here. There is no tension strap option as well, just a thing to note. It's a single axle trader. So let's hop into the new oh, Landini, not the New Holland. Got that tractor mixed up. Uh, anyway, so let's go to this one here. Get hooked up. So yeah, got tip side back, tip side left, tip side right, and green door. So yeah, green door. Decent animation there. Can't really fault that. And then let's go look at tip side left. There we go. And then lastly, we'll have a look at tip side right. And this is going to be like the same we just looked at now. The D120. But yeah, tip side right. Decent animations in that. Let's go and hook that. Let's unhook it. But yeah, like these cargo trays, of course, Spice is modding, so they do awesome mods in that. But yeah, so you've got the Cargo J50 by Sid Modding. Next. On to the final cargo trailers and that. So we got the Cargo 8S series by Sid Modding once again. 35.18 megabytes of download. And yeah, just a small correction which I'll note in editing. So yeah, the J50 we just looked at, that is 7 slots. These are the ones that is 9 and 11 slots. I just had it written down on my notes misconfigured, so I do apologies there. I'll, yeah, I'll correct it in post, so yeah. Anywho, this is a larger trailer compared to the other two we've just looked at. Once again, can be found under Traders. Go towards the end. So you've got the Cargo S series, so the S160 is 9 slots. And the 220T, so that's the bigger option, that is 11 slots. So the S160 configurations, we've got standard. And extension, so it goes from 21 to 27,000 years. Wheel brands, we've got Treborg, standard, wides, wides 2 and that. Michelin's, standard and wides. BKT, standard and wides. First line's the same. And back to Treborg. Toolbox, we've got no or yes. So that's going to add a toolbox to the right hand side. Warren triangles at the back, yes and no. The balcony to operate the tarpaulin, yes or no. Cover, yes or no. And yeah, license plate option. And for the 220ET, same configurations pretty much as options. So, well, same options. So, got a 30 or a 39,000 year extension. Yeah, wheel brands and all that are exactly the same. But yeah, so got the sort of balcony here to operate the tarpaulin. That's just more of a aesthetic thing because I can't really climb up there and that, unfortunately. Well, that'll be one thing to, great to have on FS25 is like options for like, little things like that, like climb ladders and that. But anywho, let's look at the 220T version. So that's the one on the right. I think we've got, yeah, red bean in here. So yeah, cover, yes and no. So yeah, we actually when you do the covers, you also have these little hooks and that, so it actually holds the cover down rather than just being logged on. Appreciate that level of detailing. So yeah, options with tipping, so we've got tip side back, green door, and that is it. So yeah, so look at the green door. Decent. Let's put that back on, and then we'll select the well, the main door version. Love the hydraulic animation, love the sound, and yeah, 
love, yeah, the bogging that, the chassis and that, especially when it's tipped up. And that's you see all like, the hydraulics and that. So yeah, actually when you unhook it, it does drop that little ladder section there. So once again, a nice little bit of detail. So yeah, that is the Cargo S Series Trainers by Sid Modin. Next we'll go on to our vehicles. Started off with our vehicles, we've got the Case Skizier Pack 2018. This is by Joy Farms Modding. 9.12 megabytes to download. Slot counts is 13 slots for the TV version and the 12 slots for the SV version. So, yeah, 12 slots and 30 slots. Comes with a bucket, which is one slot. The bucket holds, I think it's like 1,200 or so liters, we'll have a look at in a sec. But yeah, this is a compact case equipment and yeah, so you'll see more of these on like construction sites than that, typically. But regardless, so these are under vehicles and skid seer loaders. So yeah, both of these are 12 and 30 slots respectively. Goes down to one. Got engine configuration, so 84, 84 horsepower or 90. Design, so you got the 175th anniversary or none. Window configuration, so this is the Tintin, 60% or standard. Lighting configurations, got the beacon, light bar, beacon light bar or none. Color options, so you got the case because it's for construction that. If you want something more agricultural, then you'll go with the case red. Ah, uh, yeah, for the SV version, same configurations almost. 74 and 90 horsepower compared to 84 and 90. And uh, yeah, this is also a wheeled version compared to the tracked version. Same color options, same configurations. And uh, yeah, for the bucket, so under skid steer tools and that, got the bucket. 1,250 liters, one slot as mentioned weighs 320 kilograms. Can hold pretty much everything. No color options to look at. So yeah, let's look at the wheeled version. Got some stones here to the left. So, yeah, can this lift this up? So yeah, stones and line are the heaviest you'll find. Also, it does have that sort of like leveling effect as well. So yeah, hydraulics that. Oh yeah, one thing to we'll be careful with the. Yeah, it is the weight in that, but overall it does hold quite well. So yeah, just go extend, sit back, L1 R1, left stick, opens and closes the door. So yeah, turn that off. Go to the track option, so yeah. L1, right stick, up and down, raises and lowers the boom. Ah, uh, yeah, left, or left and right on the right stick, sort of tips the bucket in that. And yeah, as mentioned, L1, R1, got a little door option there. Yeah, head into the cab. Got Beacons, turn that on. Yeah, top speed of 11 miles an hour. But yeah, so that is the Case Skid Steer Pack 2018 by Joy Farms. Next, we've got the Class Serian 4000 and 5000 series by Smetty. 28.37 megabytes to download. Slot count is 13 slots. Ah, yeah, simply this is a large class tractor. So, yeah, in cab L1 and R1, so press X, as typically you'll find. We've got the option to turn around. Nothing new, of course, about that. But also, since it's by Spetty, it's got good, like, level of detailing in that. So, yeah, R1 and L3. So, yeah, you've got front steering, crab steering, left and right. All wheel steering and back to front wheel steering. So yeah, you'll find this under vehicles and large tractors. Head towards the end. So yeah, 350 grand. Slot count is 13 slots goes down to one. 
34 miles an hour, top speed, 620 litre fuel capacity, weighs 18.4 tonnes. And yeah, engine option is 483 to 524 horsepower. So starting off with configuration, we've got standards, weights or standard. So it removes the track option. You'll find here at the back. So track, you got track and track VC. But with the weight, so you got a 1800 kilogram, 2200, 2600, and back to a front bar. And that actually, actually looking at, so it just adds a bit of weight onto the back, removes the VC. And yeah, the weights, the main weights are on the front. So you do still have an option for three point linkages front and rear. Engine configuration, so 483 for the 4500s. And for an extra 25 grand, it goes up to 524 horsepower for the Zerion 5000. Well, brands, we've got Troborg, Michelin's, Midas, Nokian's, Continental, BKT's, Versailles, Batch, Troborg. And yeah, you've got variations of narrows, twins, wides, narrow twins. So you've got like, more of your like flotations. Got an air option so you can like, sort of like, control the air monitors and that in a way in your equipment. And yeah, it does says mod support the IC by Vertex Design and the guided steering, which is PC only. This also has a precision farming option, so that'd be things like your Arceria, wherever it is, like nitrogen monitors, so. So yeah, Nukian, Standard, Continentals, yeah, all exactly the same. But yeah, let's hop into here. Let's actually select a normal steering. Decent pick up and go. A bit as always. And yeah, I do have a particular fondness for these Zerions. Especially with the switching off cab option, it makes life interesting and easy at the same time. So yeah, that is the class Serian 4000-5000 by Spetty. Next, on to our second to last mod of the day. We've got the Lizard 1620. This is by Koda. 23.15 megabytes to download. And yet, yeah, this is a sort of an old Brazilian trader with a variety of options and yeah it says yeah manufactured from 1996 and ended in 2012 or 2012 not 2012 but anyway so this is a truck in essence with a like the X3 and that attaches on the rear do you have options for a bolt carrier cattle carrier and a variety of tanks. Terms with slot count, so the lorry slash truck itself is 10 slots goes down to 1. The tanks are 2 slots each. The bolt carrier is 4 slots and the cattle carrier is 2 slots. So yeah, on to the actual lorry itself. And yeah, this is a very small engine. Yeah, 177 horsepower, 211. And yeah, with 1620 classic. So you've got 1318, 1620, 1620 classic, 1622 electronic. So that's an extra seven horsepower. And yeah, you've got the L 1620. And that raises it up to 231 horsepower. Wheel brand, so we've got a 4x2, 6x2, 6x4, 6x2 short, and 6x4 short. So wheels themselves, you've got iron rims, iron rims 1, aluminum wheels, and back to iron. And yeah, the wheels are all exactly the same. And yeah, design, we've got standard or default 2. 
So yeah, it just sort of changes a couple things like with the bumpers and design. And general aesthetics like tanks and that. Doesn't change like the capacity and that of these tanks, but yeah, lots like seven eight like, different little options. So pick and choose what you prefer. Now this is something interesting. Rear height, so you got none. Or if we go to extreme, go with a plus 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 or four plus. Raises our ass quite a bit. But yeah, got a just a plus, two X plus, three X plus, and yep, the four X plus. So yeah, can have a very a variety of how high that ass goes. Exhaust, so you got the original 4x2, original 6x2, exhaust 1, so that goes down to the side. Exhaust 2 is a bit more of a chrome option, exhaust 3, exhaust 3, 2, exhaust 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah, it goes like down to the sides now. Yeah, it's actually nose on this side. There we go. And back to original 4x2. Markers and sun, sun shields got none. Got the marker. So yeah, that's the marker on the side of the lorry there at the front. Got a sun shield, marker and sun shield or none. And then panel colors, you got design one, design two. So that changes the panels inside the cab. So you got a bit more of a blue, or your sort of typical beige, little sort of beigey grey in that. Hubcaps, these are quite interesting. Got design one, design two, design three, design three two, design four, design five, none. I mean, like, first of all, I looked at these, I thought these were like spinners and that, but they're not. Unfortunately. So capacity, we got a plastic fuel tank, 400 litres. A round tank, 400 litres. Got a square tank, 400 litres. And back to plastic, so... Yeah, well it is just cosmetic, doesn't do anything for capacity. Ah yeah, didn't mean to actually leave there. But yeah, got the decorative sash, got none or sash one. So it is on the doors, so yeah, sash one or none. Pneumatic for the 6 by 2s got none or yes, so that is the wheels and that. So if we select the 6 by 2 Go back down to the pneumatics. So yeah, so you can have it as a sort of drop wheel option if you wish. And then you got the PX antennas on the front. So you got left, right, both of them or none. So yeah, go on to the side of the shop a bit more. Make our option. So apart from your color palettes, got a varieties of colors. Got like green, blue, a lamic yellow, yellow, which is orange. Acelo yellow, turquoise, silver, black, baby blue, beige, blue, orange, red, one, graphite, blue, one, brown, and then got versions of like whites and greys. Of course, pick you as you wish. And then, also, of course, got your typical base game color kind of palette options. Moving on to the traders, so. Starting off with the bolt carrier. So yeah, the reason why this is four slots, so you got your bell trader or a trader itself. And that has a 23,000 year capacity and a rear height. So that's pretty much like the mud flap and that. So depending on how high you got the ass on the lorry and that. So you go with like a four plus option, you'll pick something like that. So yeah, let's go take the cover, actually leave the cover on. So yeah, main colour changes the main body. So actually, let's remove that cover a sec. So yeah, main colour. Let's go with a pink. So that changes the actual main body itself. Design changes like little decals on the side. Nothing of interesting. And back to that cover. So yeah, that changes like the covers and that. There we go. And then cattle, same colour options, so I'm not going to do this again. Got the decorative sash none or yes. 
Ah, yeah, the strip color changes the strip, so let's go with a pink. So, yeah, that changes the sash. Tank, you've got a light option, so it's on the lights at the rear. So, you've got white, orange, red, green, and back to white. Again, so you've got your mud flap in that option. Main color option changes that. So, the actual main body and little extra bits that where it attaches to. That is the design color. So change that so it pops out a bit more. Ah yeah, 4x2 is exactly the same, so I'm not going to go over those again. But anyway, so yeah, we've got a couple of options here. So with the bolt carrier, you do have a option for tension straps. Ah yeah, these are of course all very swappable, so... I should go crazy with the unfolding. But yeah, so... This is the standard version we've got. Start the engine. And yeah, I do have a issue with this. And that is the engine, so... It revs its tits off. And yeah, still 10 miles an hour. Of course, if you're using manual gears, it's fine. But after a certain while, it'll pick up into second gear. And yeah, sometimes it'll randomly change up sequential, but other times it'll just like won't, so yeah, I don't like that. Of course, if you're using manual gears and that, or like a wheel and that, then yeah, that's not an issue for you. But for, I'll say, 95% of the farm sim community, of where we use controllers, D-pads, or like keyboards and mouse and that, that is really off-putting. So yeah, let's move on to the one I've got with the crazy ass option. So, as you see, we've got the four mud flaps. And yeah, that just looks very weird. You also do have vehicle options. So, with the pneumatic, so you press L1 next. That drops out wheel at the back. Love the hissing sound. L1, R1, nothing. R1, nothing. So that is with the trailer actually. So let's change so our control type. So we've got error suspension one. So L1, right stick up and down. So down raises the front end. Of course, if it had no walls, it'll raise the back as well. But since that ass is quite up in the air, don't need to worry about that. L1, R1, nothing. R1, nothing. Change to control group 2. For this, you need to be in cap, so L1, right stick, just as your left mirror. L1, R1, right stick, up and down. See that? Raises and lowers the window. It's hard to see that, it's like nothing really distinct about the window, so unless you sort of see like slight shade differences there. But anywho, see that's the mirror, L1, R1, yeah that's that, but yeah, right stick, also yeah, R1 and right stick, adjusts the right mirror, however, front in cab, with like the settings I got with POV settings, yeah, it's not really seen much, it's being blocked by the door pillar there. But yeah, give me a sec to actually get us up to speed in that. So yeah, even without the animal carrier, it is very difficult. You can't really do sharp turns in that, it just gets bogged down in that. But yeah, I'm hearing like clicking sounds, it's coming from this, because... Once I stop, it's fine. I thought it was my mic and that playing up. But it ain't, so... Anyway, that so is the Lizard L1620 by Coda. Next. On to our final mod of the day. This is the Big Bud Pack by Flying Dutchman. And yeah, this is a pack of Big Buds, and I cannot lie. Had to make that joke. 50.54 megabytes to download. Slot count is 13 and 15 respectively. So 13 slots for the small option. 15 slots for the typical 16V747. And yeah, since it's Big Buds... You'll find this under vehicles and large tractors. 
So yeah, you got the 747TR and the 450TR. So yeah, starting off with the baby version, 450 to 600 horsepower. Do you have a option for manual with a power shift or CVs, CVT variable? And uh, yep, same with 600 horsepower. Three point link hitch, got no or yes, so that is at the rear. Main car option, got a variety of big bud cutter, so big bud red, that changes that, that's the main cutter. Design cutter changes the three point link hitch, so if you don't have a three point link hitch, that is rather meaningless. But yeah, besides from that, no other configurations. Moving on to the bigger 11 hor yeah, 1100 horsepower. So yeah, got the 747 and yep, yeah, and got the CVT variable transmission. So pick whatever you prefer. Wheel setups, you've got cruder or double cruders and back to cruders. I do love that double cruder setup. Designs, we've got design one, design two, design one and door decal, so so you got big buds, you got that, or you got no decal. So again, it depends on what you prefer in that. I know this is always based on real life in that. I can't remember where I saw it online in real life, but yeah, no decals. Three points, got, got yes or no. And then main color options. So unlike with the other one where it is like, between the main body and the three point. This is all in one. So yeah, apart from your basic palettes, you so you got big bud blue, so you got a baby blue. More of a darker blue, so that's like your Welker Farms in a way. Got a green, so that's like a CP green. Got a sort of in a way like a cone orange or a kabota. Big bud red, so like a case. Look like a John Deere yellow, big bud yellow. And a Kubota orange, so yeah, that's more of a Kubota orange, and then you've got Kubota black, and then yeah, you've got your basic color palettes there. Yeah, Hardy. Oh no, sorry, you've got your like Azul's and that, Azul's, Bokerman, Gold Hoffer. Yeah, navy blue. That's all standards. That's all standards. So yeah, let's go and have a look at these. So yeah, look at the baby option. Nice little swivel axle there. Or swivel body now, whatever it's called. In cab, not too shabby. Lights, yes we've got lights. And on to the bigger version, the big boy. And yeah, I will say, this has been well anticipated. Of course, it's my Flying Dutchman, so you have done other nice mods in the past and that. Like the cheap, uh, cheap olives and grapes and that, and the manure auger and that. But yeah, there's no like, compared to the vast amount of big bud mods we've had on Forms of 22 so far. There's no like f options like open the bonnet and that. So yeah, there are better big bud mod mods that available. And I'll admit to that right now. But yeah still, the double crawl track as an option. I absolutely love that. And yeah, with that chopper flying pass again. That is where we come to the end of our mod, so yeah, horn option that. So yeah, 40 new mods we've had today. A variation of good and bad mods, like things like the hand seeders are okay in that. Got a lot of cargo traders. But yeah, if I had to pick the mod of the day, it's tough between the big bud, the hay shed, or even the garages. Like that's like my top three mods of the day. The others just hasn't wowed me. That lorry in that, yes, I know it's an old Brazilian lorry in that, but that engine in that, yeah, I know it's sort of similar to that sort of struggling to get in gear in that, struggling to get up gear in that. But yeah, 10 miles an hour in that, and struggling to change gears in that, with automatic gear in. That's not the way to go. 
I mean, seriously ain't. But, anyways, we have come to the end of our mod review for the 5th of April, 2024. And as always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But, for a choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all. A very soon.